is victim to Wizo. I joined this cooperative, it's called Kenan Patterson, in 1977. And I also chaired the committee for a number, a good number of years. So behind me is a garden that has got big sculptures, that's good society. Different members of society with their pieces in the garden. This cooperative was actually formed in 1975 uh, and was named Kenan Patterson uh, Cooperative Society due to the fact that uh, before it was a cooperative, um, Kenan Patterson himself, he was uh, a white man, uh, was helping the youngsters in Bari to do some artworks. After his death in 1975, that's when we actually form this cooperative society up to date. Zimbabwe has got a lot of artists and we have got a potential of actually raising some foreign currency for the country. If we could market our things, if we, if we could be helped market our things overseas. Because I've noticed that during all this time, the people, they, our clients, come from outside of Zimbabwe. People could be given a chance to earn what they are supposed to earn. Because at the moment, we are at a very bad stage. You do your artwork, you get peanuts for it. Because some people say, I'm going to take it overseas, so I will have to pay this, that, and something else. Yeah. We, negotiate our we negotiate our prices to a level uh, that's uh, really only to survive.